I hope this will actually be my first election vote again. Uh, and I'll just have a chance to get to vote and express uh, who I want to vote. So why is this election important to you? Well, really, this is all about going going back to where our country is going to go, where our state is going to go. Uh, of course, we have Brian Kemp, or we could vote for Stacey Abrams. And for me, it all goes back about what Stacey Abrams represents and what Brian Kemp re represents. And I can't really represent somebody who wants to have open borders, somebody who wants to let undocumented, undocumented immigrants vote, things like that. And what issues will support you? I think it really goes all uh, all back to illegal immigration. Right just now, we're paying a hefty price for illegal immigrants um, coming into America and then they're using our welfare system, just other things that, that as Americans we pay for in our taxes, and they're coming in and they're just using it. That's just not what's happening right now. So a lot of this election is, is centered around President Trump. President Trump says a lot of it is about him. Yeah. I, somewhat I do agree because the, the Republicans Republicans and Trump, they've been doing a lot of good things to stim stimulate our, com uh, our economy to just be better in general. And so when we give a vote to the Republicans, is we're giving power to Trump to keep on expanding our, on our economy. And we love Trump. Woo! Keep on going. All we want to do is stop it. actually said it. They said we want to stop the good economy. We want to stop the low unemployment. We want to stop everything. That's not what I want. And all I guess is all you use your name. My name is Mikel Trump. Like Trump, but with C R U M P. Mikel, M I K E L. And your name? Chandler, C R U M P. It's the same last name. Chandler. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I need it. No, <laughs> they say the most gettable section of uh, of the voting base is going to be uh, white middle class women. Do you feel differently? There's another relevant group that is going to have their voices heard in the midterms. Who are they? Absolutely. I recently tweeted, I think uh, the black vote is going to become the most relevant vote in America by 2020. We're already seeing a major shift. Men and women. Men and women. Why is there. that? Why do you think that? It's just the conversation is different. I actually think digital media has allowed for this. For so long, we were sort of trapped, and we saw the version of society that CNN projected towards us. That's sort of what was being played in our households. Uh, now we have social media now they're hearing voices and different ideas and people that are combating um, sort of the wrong facts that are coming out of their TV screens and they're seeing people like me who popped up on YouTube with a different version right. and I am seeing so many black people pop up on YouTube on Facebook on Twitter using different hashtags there is going to be a major black exit from the Democrat Party and they're going to have to actually compete for their votes in 2020 and, and when Donald Trump was running for president famously he said what do you have to lose and he was correct we had absolutely nothing to lose and everything to gain, and we are gaining it. Candace, you but, grew up in a Democratic family. That is and correct. You were telling me during the break, you said, I did grow up to think that Republicans were racist. I did. Republicans were why did you decide to switch parties? Why did you become a Republican? Um, it wasn't a why. It was just understanding that racism, especially while Donald Trump was running, was just being used as a theme to trap black voters. You couldn't deny it. This was a man that was celebrated by the left. He was loved by the hip hop world. Every song that I listened to growing up celebrated Donald Trump and Mar a Lago. He was the goal. The second he decided to to run for the president, he was announced as a racist. And they, they did studies on who's watching The Apprentice. He was through the roof when it came to minorities, uh, blacks and Hispanics. We and loved that him. Changed.